How to use mockups, mockups tutorial for beginners. Hello guys and welcome back to today's video. In today's video, we will be teaching you how you will be able to use mockups completely as a beginner. So we will be starting from scratch. I have just created this account solely for this demonstration. Now, when you first create your mockup account, this is what you're going to see. I haven't touched anything, so this is the starting point. Now, as you can see already, we are being asked to choose a template or start from a blank project. Now you could use mockups for a lot of things. You could use it for wireframing, business strategy, diagrams of flow, charts and graphs, depending on your goal or what you need to do. You have different options over here. You could use this for mockups as you can see here. And there's also flow charting, basic flow charting, and there's also more complicated things. You have the most basic things that you could do and the more complicated things that you could do. So you have a wide range of what mockups has the ability to do. So you wouldn't really worry about going to another platform to do something and going back to this to do this specific item. You could do everything because mockups has a large range of features and ability to create. So we could do a lot of things so we could check out let's say i would like to check out with the most simple one for example a flowchart diagram i'm simply going to open this after selecting a specific template you will be able to see this right away as you can see there's a bit a lot of things on our screen right now so let's explore them over here on the left side as you can see this is where you will be able to see the different features you have your stencils over here your pages Basically, the pages are different pages, like in general, the entire thing. You can see this one has block, but all the elements. This one has the standard color variants, and this one has the details and all of those stuff. So that is how the pages would work. You could create, hide, or nest pages and organize them into folders and set as masters. And aside from that, you have the option to choose from stencils or basically the different elements that you could use. There is a lot of things over here. Even though we are using a flowchart diagram template, you will still be able to see the different options over here. Like you have the buttons, the checkbox, the radio, combo box, and all of these other options over here. These are mainly for prototypes or mockups that you could use. Earlier, we saw in one of the templates that one preview image of that specific template is like a mockup of a phone and the wireframe of how their system works. As you can see, it also appears over here. So this is a very useful platform for creating a mockup as well. With the names, as you can see, its name is mockup. So you would assume that it can do mockups. Now, to be able to put an element into your canvas over here, you're simply going to select it and drag it into your page, just like that. Or you can simply click this and it will automatically appear over here. Then you could interact with it. When you move around, you will be able to see like a ruler to ensure that you could have like the perfect position or like to center it. As you can see here, I will be able to center it just like that. Then I would be able to center it with other elements as well. There's a lot of uh, things that you could check out as you can see, which would help you put this in a perfect position. To delete this, you're simply going to click on uh, backspace or delete. And to be able to add it again, simply click that. And to be able to like edit the element itself, you could like... Uh, enlarging it just like that do this and uh, for a circle it's going to have like a constant shape so for example let's go with a horizontal line and over here as you can see this is our line we will be able to move this around to whatever angle that we want we could connect it to this element over here that's square then we could connect it over here it will show you like the center so it's a bit easy to connect two elements together then you can simply select that to delete that as well and after that, you are also able to check out the outline. As you can see, you will be able to see like every element, like for example, connector 19, and it's zooming in over here. So for example, connector 19, it's going to highlight it. Process to connector 18, start and end, connector 17. So it's very useful to find the specific element that you are looking for, because sometimes, uh, more likely or not, sometimes we will get lost and we won't be able to find the specific element that we need to check out because there is a lot of things on our screen. You can also click on templates again and you could create a template for you to use over here. You could check out the images that you upload. 
once you upload it here it will now remain in the library for you to use in the future and you also have icons over here very useful this is particularly very useful for creating prototypes for a software or a website you could simply use any of this option like you simply drag it just like that and you could enlarge it if you want by simply dragging it just like that so this is very useful you could use this as a prototype creation as well if you're not familiar with figma if those other versions or those other platforms are a bit too complicated for you mockups is a very great place to use as well and aside from that you have your comments over here and as you can notice over here on the right side you have your page settings like the entire thing you could customize the size as you can see here you could change the size and you could also manually choose the sizing over here right now it's 1080 and 1080 you could change the background by clicking this and you can choose whatever background that you want and there's also default settings like font family you could change this to whatever font that you want and you could have the regular or bold over here then the color of your text you can change this to whatever and that will be like the default text settings for other text then you could also replace colors over here like the current page or the entire project this area over here earlier the pages this means that this is part of the entire project and if you change something over here it will change it on other areas as well and depending on how you do this it will be able to be very time saving and let's fix our page right now and over here on the top you could see that this is a diagram right now what we are using and when you do this you will be able to see like the lines as you can see here you will be able to see this line we were able to create this let's delete that for now let's do it again and when you use this you will be able to see like a uh, indication or location of where you should put the lines on like for example this one there's like a circle dot in the middle and there's one over here on like the left side a bit and then so when you drag this you could connect them together just like that and that is how you could use this as well and there's other options like pencil, highlighter, polygon, rectangle, eclipse, line, arrow, text, and hotspot. And after this, after creating your project, of course, you are able to either click on the components, arrange it. You also have a handoff over here or like export this entire project. But of course, you would need to upgrade to a plan to be able to actually use this properly. Like you need to upgrade it to be able to have a limited project and object, have high resolution and export private projects, unlimited storage, and like a team management option over here. And you would need to upgrade that to be able to use that. But there's also interactions over here and you can like preview this as well. There we go. We have our output over here. Then we can simply click on edit to be able to edit this item. Now to be able to go back to the main menu, you can simply click on main menu, click on dashboard. And in this area, you will be able to see your project and you could create a new project once again. I simply clicking that and there we go we're back to the step one of our tutorial you can now go check out other templates depending on your needs and what you would like to use mockups on of course it's going to remain the same there's no specific design for a specific template all the features that you are seeing right now is constant and as you can see here and that's it guys that is how you will be able to use mockups hope you enjoyed the video Thanks for watching.